You directed this film, and you're also uh, in the film, starring in the film. Um, do you ever... This puts you in an odd position, I would think, where you're looking at scenes afterwards, and, you know, the scene may be pretty good, but you may not like the way you look in the scene. Well, and as the director, you may be biased and, and use another take. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, but I actually brought a clip of a moment that that couldn't be used in the movie. We um, were shooting a scene that was supposed to be in rain, and it started raining, and so we jumped to shoot the scene in the rain so that we wouldn't have to use a rain machine. Right. We just didn't take into consideration how strong the winds were during yeah. this storm, and so... This is you and... This is, I know yeah, this Breckenmeyer scene, this and I are shooting a scene Meyer. where yeah. we're uh, uh, smoking outside in a, with an umbrella and uh, in the middle of a rainstorm, and I, I brought this clip just because the wind, the wind took this umbrella and, uh, and hit me square in the face while we were uh, r doing a take. Yeah, the wind just sort of takes the umbrella and ram right down on top of you. Yeah, and I have to say, I was really proud of myself because I could tell the thing was coming. Oh, oh my God. And, and you did yeah. that. You did that. Yeah. I really did. But here, if you, if, you, if you play it again, you see me... You see me not only lean into the hit and turn my face so that it makes contact with my hairline, but I, I actually got both of my hands on the, the pole yeah. to try and control it as it went down. And so I had just like turned my head just enough to make sure that the injury would be in my hairline. And then we kept shooting. Because that's what you do. That's what you do. Wow. That was, um... Plus... You just made something incredibly dorky sound heroic. Well, I'm still I'm You got still hit hoping. by an umbrella. I really did. Yeah. But I managed to save the shot. I did. And, and maybe I got a shot at Bob Saget's grand prize. Yeah, know. exactly. Boing, 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 boing. Uh, we have a clip here uh, from Changeland. Anything you want to tell us about this scene? Yes, I will give you a setup. So um, uh, uh, in the movie, my buddy Dan and I go on this adventure that was supposed to be a second honeymoon. My character finds out his wife's been having an affair and instead of confronting her, takes this trip with his old best friend to figure out what to do. We get into a series of adventures and meet a bunch of cool characters. And in this scene, I found my way into a Muay Thai boxing ring with yep. somebody who I don't, think is really fighting me. I think it's all, like, for, for fun. And uh, Brecken, who plays Dan, um, is giving me advice on how not to die yeah. in the ring. Because it turns out the guy is taking the fight yeah, he quite really, seriously. Well, he forewarned me, uh, and I just didn't believe him in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Here's a clip from Changeland. Main thing is, you're just letting him hit you, okay? You want to avoid that as much as possible, okay? Because he's hitting you really hard, and there's only so much you can take before you actually die, all right? So main takeaway... Don't get hit! Okay. Hey, are we fighting, like, for real? I hear you. Oh, shit. But Punch! <laughs> also, why do you say punch before you punch? This is uh, not a guy not who a knows thing. how to fight. This is not a, a thing. He's not a guy who's ever been in a fight. A guy life. who has never been in a fight before it says punch yeah. every time he punches. He's just giving himself motivation. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the movie Changeland is on video on demand and in select theaters right now, and you should check it out. Seth Green, congratulations. Really good to see you again.